Welcome back, another episode. The mid-season conclusion of Quantum Leap Season 2, Episode 8, strikes precisely the right note. Thrilling, fulfilling, and enticing. Showrunners, take note, taking your actors and crew to Egypt not only adds a ton of authenticity, but it also highlights their skill and the power of the screenplay. To all of you, a gold star. Addison's return to the Holo Guide job deceives us into believing that we're heading back toward the status quo from Quantum Leap Season 1, but Ben's observation that we're no longer in Kansas applies to everything. When an office romance ends in intimacy but the business relationship goes on, it's always awkward. Bravo to Ben and Addison for attempting to work things out in spite of the crazy changes their relationship has undergone. To heighten the shock factor in the final scene, Addison's discovery of the engagement ring in the background is a devious red herring. Though it's a little strange to have a jeweler's packaged diamond ring in your kitchen drawer, I'm not sure whether Tom will pop the question. I adore how the group accepts Tom for the joy he gives Addison. Ian is ecstatic about the prospect of marriage, but he doesn't give Ben any thought. In the three years that have passed since Addison passed away, Ian, Jen, and Magic have experienced both loss and healing. Neither Ben nor the audience can begin to comprehend the lived experience. Addison is particularly sensitive to the blossoming bond between Ben and Hannah because of their growing relationship. Her acceptance of the love for what it is is essential to the final settlement of hashtag Bettison's breakup. Could something exist here? Could the moonlighting curse have a reverse? Will Ben and Addison go from being devoted life partners to becoming the best time-traveling companions? The possibilities are astoundingly broad, and it's a fascinating subversion of expectation. Life is for living is the lesson that magic imparts to Addison during her self-doubt, and it resonates throughout the first half of the season. We are shown a plethora of individuals learning and growing and never standing still, whether it's Layla trying to take control of her journey, magic finding a way through the bad days, or Ben coming to the realization that Addison and the team moved on without him. The main storyline is an intense thriller that touches on themes of past societal injustices and the echoes of those who are stuck in lives they are ashamed of. Layla's upbringing and the tragedies she experienced as a youngster have shaped her unique combination of abilities. In response, she seeks to overthrow the corrupt government of her early years, but in doing so, she unintentionally supports groups that have the same wicked goals. It makes one wonder if the real Michael Allison was never recruited as a CIA asset because she failed her smell test. If so, history is altered by Ben's presence in Agent Allison's body more than by his deeds or words. Of course, the fact that Ben and Allison are novices to the world of espionage does not help either. Played by the first unrecognizable Lou Diamond Phillips, Station Chief Barnes is a cynical and spiteful old guy who continually refers to Ben as kid. And I'm giving major props to the makeup and costume departments for their ability to transform Richie Valens into George Smiley. Similar to the sheriff in Season 2, Episode 3 of Quantum Leap, Barnes doesn't think there is anything wrong with his worldview. He believes that he has earned the right to be as contemptuous and cynical as he is. All confidence is blown away by Ben's impassioned scolding, and Addison surmises that Barnes makes different decisions because he dislikes realizing he's given up on doing the right thing in favor of the sure thing. That being said, regardless of the season, the sequences in which Ben storms out of the Cairo office until the phone rings in Hannah's room may be the most tense in the entire series. Acknowledging the mission's failure, contemplating the prospect of never jumping again, and mulling over the potential of eternally stuck in time, Ben exposes himself to a great deal of what-if scenarios. Hannah is also supporting him. Although there is a convincing argument in our minds that a quantum leap cannot occur without any leaping, there are a lot of viable detours that have been made available after Layla is said to have died. Although Ben and Hannah discuss his alternatives while Team HQ conjectures the possibilities, it feels like a possible reality. Agent Allison is stationed in London, may have a family, and may be married. These are just a few of the issues that arise from Ben spending his life with Hannah. For more, subscribe.